Welcome back to 2.3. Today we're doing day two material and let's get started. We are on example four, so this is the back side of your note sheet. In example four, we have fractions. Don't freak out, it'll be okay. We can get through this. What is the solution of 3 fourths x minus x over 3 equals 10? There's actually two methods involved um, that you could choose from, but I would like to show you the easier method. I think this is the one you would much prefer. The method is going to require us to clear the fractions from the equation. And the way that we do that is we multiply each side by a common denominator. And the way that we figure out what common denominator would be, we take a look at the denominators that are in the original, 4 and 3, and what is the lowest common denominator or least common denominator that we would get rid of the 4 and the 3? And that would be 12 because if you multiply the 4 and the 3, you get 12. So we are going to get rid of the fractions almost immediately by multiplying both sides by 12. Remember, if you do something to one side of the equation, you have to do the exact same thing to the other. Now, looking at the left side, you need to use the distributive property, which means sharing the 12 to each term inside. And we're also sharing it to the right side of the equation. So we're going to have 12 over 1, remember there's just a 1 on the bottom, times 3 fourths x minus 12 over 1 times x over 3. And how about we just figure out the other side? 10, 10 times 12 is 120. The trick there is you just put the 0 after the 12 and you get 120. Now let's multiply on the left side. The 12 and the 4 can be reduced. 12 divided by 4 is 3. The 4 becomes a 1 and the 12 becomes a 3. Now let's go on to the second term. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So the 3 becomes a 1 and the 12 becomes a 4. Now let's just multiply. 3 times 3 is 9x and then minus 4x equals 120. Hey, I see some like terms on the left side. How about we combine them? What is 9x minus 4x? That is 5x. Now we just have a one-step equation, and hopefully by now you think these are super easy. Um, how do we get rid of that 5? Right now it's multiplying, so let's do the opposite. That's division, so let's divide both sides by 5. x is equal to 24, and that's our solution. If you don't believe me, plug in the 24 for the x in the original equation and make sure it equals 10 when you do the operations. Okay, example four is done. Now we just worked with fractions. Guess what's next? Decimals. Have no fear though. We can clear the decimals from an equation by multiplying by a power of 10. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to find the greatest number of digits to the right of any decimal point. So an example of this would be 2, 1, and 0.3. The first term, 0.21, has two decimal places, see, 1, 2, and the 0.3 only has 1. So the greatest number would be two digits versus 1. Two is bigger. Now we're going to multiply by 10 raised to that power. So in this situation, we have 10 to the second because that 2 comes from the greatest number of decimal points, and that would be just 100. So here's our last example. We have 3.5 minus 0.02x equals 1.24. What is the greatest number of digits involved? Well, in the first one, there is one spot. And the second one, there's two places. And in the last one, there's two places. So the biggest or the greatest number of digits involved is two to the right of the decimal. So we're going to multiply by 10 to the second, which is equal to 100. And remember, we have to do the exact same thing to both sides. So let's multiply both sides by 100. And we must distribute, so share that 100 with both terms inside. 
And when we are multiplying by 100, all we have to do is move the decimal over twice. One, two. So that number would be 350. Let's do the same thing for the next decimal. One, two. So that is 2x, and the last one, two, that's 124. Take a look at that line. I think that's awesome. There are no decimals left. This is a really friendly two-step equation. So how do we solve this thing? What we're going to do is move the 350 to the other side. We're going to subtract minus 350, minus 350. That is negative 2x equals negative 226. And there's a one-step equation left. Let's get rid of that negative 2. A common tendency here is to add 2x or add 2 or something like that. But look, there's a multiplication between the negative 2 and the x. That means we need to undo it by division. So please don't fall into that trap. I understand it is tricky. Okay, divide and you get x equals 113 and that is the answer. Okay, that completes uh, day two's material. You can take a whack at lesson check day two, or you can wait until we do the material during class.